Hello, welcome to Mirror Football's Champions League preview. We're looking at Tottenham's group right now. Uh, they're away to PSV this evening, Jack. Um, it's been a really poor start for Tottenham in the Champions League. They're in a tough group, obviously, against Inter Milan and Barcelona, but they lost both games and they really got to beat PSV home and away now to, to, to move, move forward. Yeah, definitely, Mark. I think uh, Spurs have really started slowly in the Champions League. It's not been uh, disastrous in terms of the performance, but the results, obviously, are just not good enough. And I think they need to prioritise maximum points from this uh, game week three and four to stand a chance of uh, going through. I think uh, Pochettino knows that it's imperative to go there, get the win, and then it eases the pressure on that Wembley game for them. Well, uh, it should be a tough game in, in the Netherlands, but I expect the Spurs, with the form they've picked up in the Premier League, I think with Ericsson coming back in as well, they should, should be fine. I mean, as you said, they're in a tough group, but you think the way they lost that game at Inter was, was the real yeah. issue with five minutes to go, they're 1-0 up and they collapsed really. Barcelona, you can lose to Barcelona, yeah, that's absolutely sure. fine, but, but will the Inter result come back to haunt them? Yeah, I think so. It's um, certainly um, something that Inter can, can build on and look to take something from their games um, against Barcelona back-to-back. -back. Uh, certainly without Leo Messi, I think that's uh, it's a big opportunity for Inter. And, Spurs are going to need to hope that Barcelona take maximum points from those games. Otherwise, if they allow uh, Inter to pick up a point, it's almost like a massive bonus point for them and it might be uh, really tricky for Spurs to get back in. Obviously, it means that the home game against Inter is absolutely a must win. So, yeah, real interesting dynamic with this group, but I think Spurs just need to solely focus, just get the point, first points on the board and uh, worry about catching up a little bit later. So over to Barcelona, as you mentioned there, and, and, and there's no there's no Messi. We have, you know he, he fractured his arm at the weekend, yeah. and um, is there really a sense of panic that they haven't got him because he is so important to them? Yes, they've still got Luis Suarez, they've got Coutinho, but it, they're not Messi, are they? At the end of the day, and, and, and any team would miss his influence. A team like Inter are going to go there without any real pressure on them, having won their two games previously in the group. So. It's all of a sudden made this game fascinating. Yeah, Inter are absolutely flying. Remember, they won the derby at the weekend in the last minute. Nara Cardi uh, popping up. So, in Cardi, they probably do have uh, one of the top two or three forwards in Europe. And somebody with a bit of points to prove it's Barcelona as well. Absolutely, yeah. Nara Cardi revenge game as such. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Inter can pinch something at the, the new camp. And that would really set them up to sort of upset Spurs, who I think most people did expect would go through from this group. But... It's almost a little bit out of their hands in terms of the next two games in that group because if Inter do pick up something, it's big trouble for Spurs and it might leave them needing to take something um, at the new camp when they play Barcelona again. Dropping down into Europa League it would be really deflating considering Spurs have somewhat underachieved in the Champions League. Obviously, um, they're, they're almost content just to be there, having had years without Champions League football. But the potential of his side is one that can get into the sort of the latter stages, certainly at least the quarterfinals, and they need to be doing that in, in the near future. Otherwise, they are going to be losing players. Okay, so it promises to be a fascinating evening for Tottenham, and you can follow it all with us at Mirror Football.